All right, now that we're safe and sound, we should probably take a quick look at our Venusaur before we go jumping into battle. He's a naughty Venusaur. Very naughty. Well, Petal Dance is the true star here. Can't even see them out. There we go. <laughs> I can't see while I'm clicking. I like to have attacks up top, basically. Spore is actually pretty cool to have on a Venusaur. Not a ton of useful things get Spore, with pretty much the exception of, like, Breloom. And we have Super Luck. Heightens the critical hit ratios of moves. Well, that's fine. Not the best, not the worst. Still, we're happy to have Venusaur aboard. We're going to keep working on Staryu for now. The difference is here, though, first of all, we can get this again because it's a new day since the last time I recorded. Yes. Now, instead of stopping at Mr. Pokemon's house, we're going to keep on keeping on. Ah, yes, a wild Seedra in the grass. <laughs> Well, let's take a chance and bring out our new superstar, because one pedal dance should really kill this. Although, Cedra is Water Dragon, I think? Or is that only Kingdra that's Water Dragon? I don't remember. Also, it's hidden underwater. We're going to go ahead... Okay, I think we're going to outspeed, but I don't know, so we'll just attack, in case we don't. That's why the switch was just fine, though. And it is super effective, very nice. Just water then. Only the Kingdra is water dragon, which isn't actually a bad typing. All the weaknesses pretty much cover each other, I think. It's only weak to dragon. <laughs> hey, nice. That's actually kind of cool. We, they both got a level out of it. Venusaur is helping star you. Together, they're the best friends. Alright. So we have this small looking boy. He's hiding in the grass. I just lost. So then your Pokemon are dead, right? They're dead. And look who Joey's gonna send out his 99th percentile Ekans. I can't wait to see how this works. This is the kid with a Rattata. He likes to call you up on the phone and bug you about his 99th percentile Rattata. The problem is... This isn't a Rattata. <laughs> so we'll see. We'll see if it switches the name to Ekans and he's just going to bug us about his Ekans all the time or if it's actually going to know. Do 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 Easiest battle of my life. Sent some to mom. Yeah, you can have my number. But only because I want to hear the jingle. The jingle, jingle, jangle. <laughs> it's very nice of them to make his line of sight to the point where I can still get around this ridge because if he saw us from the normal distance, man, we'd be dead. Ah, yes, a level 2 Tropius. <laughs> well... I'm not going to take too many chances just yet. We'll keep bringing out the heavy hitter. Everything has Petal Dance. <laughs> We didn't need the critical hit, but we'll take it as an extra, like, screw you, Benny. Execute. We've seen all sorts of big, beefy things here in the beginning, it turns out. Most of the big, beefy things have been grass types, though. Now, execute's not the biggest or beefiest, but 
Still not a very common early game sight. That could have done more damage, but I will take the poisoning. Yeah. It's a status effect off. It's a walk off. Luster Purge! <laughs> okay, well. Luster Purge is the uh, Latios psychic attack. And uh, I think we need to switch. Because <laughs> I'd like being the sword to get some experience. I don't know if this is safe or not. We're going to give it a shot. If it's not, then it's still okay, because then we can bring Togepi in without having to eat an attack, but it turns out it's just fine. Let's at least get Staryu a level. Ha! <laughs> Aqua Ring. So our Staryu can now regen. It still can't actually attack with a water move, but you know, in the... <laughs> what are you going to do? That's strange, I won before. That's because we were fighting in Ekans. I have a Venusaur. Alright, well you keep doing your thing. Trainer tips. You can't throw Pokeballs at people's Pokemon. It's rather uncouth. You know what, we're actually going to go to Mr. Pokemon's house, because, oh no, he can't make us rest. But, this house back here at the bottom can. Even though he's super bitter about everybody thinking he's Mr. Pokemon when he's not, it's fine. No, I want to rest. Is that not a thing I can do here? Fine. I'll walk the extra 10 feet. I don't know why I thought I could rest there. I Tripping, I guess. Later on, this will not be as much of an issue. We can usually just do that when we get to the Pokemon Center first in a new place that we go to. And in between, we just kind of, you know... Try and kick as much ass as we can, take a few hits here and there, but we just push through it. Here are a couple hits and we're on Death's Door. Zor. Um, yeah, you know what, we'll go ahead and get this kill. But we're gonna need Togepi to do it, because Pedal Dance might one-shot our poor Staryu. Oh, it's Togepi sleepy time. Togepi's love to sleep. I used the wrong move, but it's extremely unlikely I'm going to wake up anyways. And at least I can't be poisoned while I'm asleep. That's nice. <laughs> Someday. I don't care about my speed, that's fine. <laughs> I'm already asleep, stupid. Now get out of here. Very good experience for a wild encounter. It's kind of too good to pass up. Man, I walked slow to try and get out of this grass without a second encounter. Look what I got. Nothing. I don't even know if our star you can beat this in a straight up fight. I don't know that it can. We're gonna take the easy way out. You've never seen the vice grip attack this much in your life, but now you're gonna see it everywhere, including on the wild Pokemon that had it. Yeah that that does sting quite a bit. Well, time to go back to the Pokemon Center, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. But we may have to one more time before we actually get through this path. That is the downside of doing the whole switcheroo training method in the beginning of the game, is that sometimes the second Pokemon, your strong one, ends up taking a bunch of stray hits. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba 
Not spore. The cotton spore is fine. It's so weird seeing just rampant Venusaurs. <laughs> You know, in a way, though, I mean, obviously, okay, Pokemon's a game, so it has game mechanics. They're not going to want to throw, like, level 60 Pokemon that are fully evolved at you in the beginning of the game. But, from a lore-slash-world perspective, it does kind of make sense that random Pokemon are in different areas, right? Just because you happen to live near the first gym doesn't mean that you shouldn't be accosted by strong Pokemon. And only strong Pokemon happen to live, like, on Victory Road. That doesn't even make sense. I'm not a trainer, but if you see a trainer, don't look at it. Alright. I <laughs> a bug Pokemon, I found a trainer. Well, maybe you should look in the grass if you're looking for a bug Pokemon, you idiot. And do you even have bug Pokemon? No. No, that's a Swellow. That's wrong. Come on, Star, you try it. Great. What? <laughs> Man, if we had a water attack, this would be great news for us. I'm trying to figure out what in the world happened. <laughs> the game wasn't all that sure either. Did you see it kind of freak out? Wait a minute. A level 3 swallow is using camouflage? Ah, swift. I do like that attack. Alright, we can take that damage. I don't know if we can kill unless we get like 4 hits. Maybe three? Doesn't matter. It does seem like these evolved Pokemon have more moves at their disposal, even at really low levels, than the non evolved ones. Venusaur had four moves. This has at least three. Uh, Vespaquen. I would like to give you this horse some experience, but we're gonna keep letting the star you rock for now. <laughs> star you know. So Bug Buzz is gonna be very strong on a Vespa plan right now. Luckily it's only level three to our level seven, otherwise that would have done even more damage. Wow, really? Uh well, this might be the end of Star You. <laughs> I don't want to switch into this attack. What? I mean, your attack's not the most accurate attack in the world, but my god. Hey! Alright, let's get the switch in here. And then a blaze kick. Assuming we don't die. Yeah, okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> Well, shit. In case you didn't catch the text, because it went by pretty quickly, this Vespaquen has Flash Fire, which is actually very strong on a Vespaquen. So instead of being super effective with fire attacks against it, we had it absorbed. Luckily, Vice Grip, which is Stab, was strong enough, and also it's level 3, so we have that in our favor. But still, a surprise setback. I really should switch out Star You, but you know what? I'm a risk taker and a shot maker. Dark Cave. If a Pokemon could light it up, I'd explore it. Let's light it up, up, up. Fire! Not really anything we can do in here, but I like the music. I accidentally walked out. You know, I actually do want to kind of see what Pokemon are in here. So, I, hold on. No, no, no music. I do like the little area swipey thingies. Gotta save real quick. I can't... I can't see my Kabowski. I don't know what's happening with that. It's fine. It's a regular day. We also haven't saved since we started on this particular journey, so it feels good. 
The biggest problem with this is not my concern about losing something because it crashes and having to redo it, although that sucks, don't get me wrong. I am more worried about the fact that it could glitch to the point where anything I load from is still glitched, which then breaks the whole playthrough. So I don't really want that to happen. An Umbreon? That's pretty cool. I want it. Let's try and catch it. With the power of mad variants, Umbreons of course have great defense, so... Ah! <laughs> ah! Star, you know! Uh, well, Venusaur should be able to tank a hit or two. Poison Sting I don't think is going to kill, although it will be super effective. Oh no, it won't. What am I thinking? Poisons... I don't know, I'm crazy. Never mind me. In any case, we can get away with at least one more. I don't know what the catch rate is on an Umbreon. Probably not going to be very helpful to us, but we're going to throw some balls at it. We'll have a good, I don't know, three or four cracks at it with poison. I guess three, because one's going to happen right here. Let's try. Jane they used one premier ball as opposed to what, nine? He'll go in one of these balls. Like you throw in a Pokeball inside a Pokeball inside a Pokemon. It's great. Pokemon has to break out of like nine layers of Pokeball to get out successfully. Come on, Umbreon, be a part of the team. Yeah. Welcome aboard, you pimp. The Moonlight Pokemon. Look how tiny its little paw print is. Poisonous Sweat. I don't know if I want an Umbreon anymore. I've changed my mind. <laughs> That's gross. All right, we need to leave. We are going to come back here and see what else is around. First of all, Umbreon is going to eat that poison. But we're going to try and go up here and get to the next town. Work our way backwards. I actually don't think that guy's a trainer, but I'm not positive. It's a black... A bulk... Apricorn that looked like a bomb, kind of. Uh. <laughs> ah, yes. The gentle roaming seeking. That did not kill in one hit. Seeking too strong, please nerf. Luckily, water sport doesn't matter to us one bit. Doesn't meowder. Doesn't meowder. I mean, I guess we do have a fire attack that's affected by it, but we weren't using it, so whatever. Thanks, Seeking. You're the best. Okay. This is an interesting conundrum for us, because Faulkner was already a dirty, dirty cheater. In the original, he's a flying-type trainer, and he's got a Pidgeotto at level 9. That's not possible. <laughs> Something need for surprising her. You surprised us. You know what? doesn't matter. Never mind. We're not going to use the Versus Recorder. I can't even be that mad at her. She gave us a gift. That said, I just want a Pokemon Center, so if you could just get out of the way... Barry for a shard. And he's spinning in circles. Great. Wonderful. Won't be long before we have a full team, although unfortunately we, uh... <laughs> yes, Staryu is feeling better. There he is. If you have a dead Pokemon in the first slot, it's a thing. Anyways, Team Rocket three years ago, bad thing, wonderful. We'll have a full team soon anyways, as I was saying, but we're going to have this issue where they're going to be kind of behind level until we can catch up. 
It sort of depends on what offensive moves everybody has. Like, Venusaur can fight for himself. But Staryu's still working on that. The Show Me Show. I'll tell you what I think of you, you son of a bitch. Um... Damp. <laughs> Anime. This is a damp conversation. <laughs> yes. Uh, it's a little obnoxious. Ugh. Energetic. Dislike. That's how I feel about it. I'm enthusiastically opposed. But I. I uh, some, you know, sometimes people just don't listen. A guy named Bill made the Pokemon PC storage system, and then we rescued him. Or sorry, we didn't. Ash rescued him from the oblivion of having transmogrified into a Pokemon. 